Okay, here we're working on 2.3, writing an equation of a line given its slope and y-intercept. So I've written down two examples. Um, they slightly look different in that um, this problem gives you the y-intercept first and then the slope second, and then this problem gives you the slope first and the y-intercept second. Although it doesn't matter what order they give them to you, um, it's the information that is important. Another difference between the two problems is that um, the first example has a fraction slope and the second example has a um, integer slope. So we'll see how all this works out. Now we do need to know our slope intercept form of a line. So the slope intercept form of a line looks like this, y equals mx plus b. And as long as I can identify what the slope is and I can identify what the b is, I can simply just plug those numbers in to the specific places, okay? So m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So in my problem here, they've given me that the slope is one-third and they've given me that the y-intercept is negative four. So all I need to do is plug those numbers in the respective places. So the one third will go in front of x um, plus the negative four in for b. And I can type this in there as my answer or I can clean it up to come up with the more formal answer because a positive times a negative is actually going to be a negative four. And so this would be the formal response um, for the equation of that specific line. Now part B is very similar. They want the equation in slope intercept form. So again, we need to know what that looks like. That looks like this. The slope intercept form of a line is this. And then they tell me slope is negative three. So that means M equals negative three. And they tell me that the y-intercept is negative 1, which means that b equals negative 1. Now it's just a matter of plugging in those numbers exactly where they go. You could use parentheses when you plug in a value, but negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and a positive times a negative is a negative. And so this is the formal version of that line in slope-intercept form.